Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranakhat, West Bengal, India. Let PCR be a past thing in your surgeries. This is the main theme of this video. This is a heart cataract, nuclear sclerosis is about grade 5 and by this time the main incision and the side port has been made and air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber and then tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule underneath this air bubble. Staining is very fast and very nice in few seconds, maybe 15 to 20 seconds. If we stain the capsule underneath an air bubble, the dye is washed out and the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And now capsular excess in heart cataracts, don't do a small rexus. Don't do a baby size rexus. Do a large rexus. Size of the rexus should be 5.75 to 6.25 millimeter. If we do a large rexus, nucleus management becomes easy and the chance of posterior capsular rent, chance of or risk of genular dehiscence, all these things are reduced drastically if we do a large rexus. So, I am doing a large capsular rexus with the help of uh, utrita forceps. It is done and now hydrodissection. We cannot see the fluid wave in such dense cataracts. So, in small aliquots of BSS is injected at multiple points. And what happens is the nucleus just comes up, comes anteriorly. We just have to tap the nucleus and mobilize the nucleus. Some more visco, and now is the time to introduce the FECO handpiece. The FECO needle goes in with its bevel down. Some superficial lens matter is removed, which includes cortex and epinucleus. It is removed, and now the handpiece is turned to make the bevel up. And the tip is buried just in front of the main incision. It goes through the substance of the nucleus as a submarine goes through water. And this is known as Dr. Mahanta's submarine job. A nice crack, and we rotate the nucleus few more scarves, rotate the nucleus on 80 degree, hold on heminucleus and separate the two heminuclei completely. And now each heminucleus is subdivided into two large pieces or in sometimes three large fragments. And now the large nuclear fragments are tilted, the FECO needle is placed just beneath the apex of the nuclear fragments and they are emulsified. In this video, just see what I am doing. I am detaching the epinucleus, detaching the epinuclear shell and emulsifying the nucleus. Thus, this epinuclear shell acts as a contact lens and it protects the posterior capsule. This is the other heminucleus. It is subdivided into two large fragments and then one heminucleus is held at the apex and 
its epinuclear shell is detached and it protects the core protects the posterior capsule and this is the last nuclear piece see holding the nucleus nuclear material and detaching the epinucleus and this epinucleus is protecting the posterior capsule let us see the epinucleus epinuclear shell yes this is the epinuclear shell it has protected the posterior capsule till now and now we have to remove this so with low ultrasonic energy low flow rate and low vacuum we can remove this safely keeping the phaco needle at the center of the anterior chamber at the iris plane And now the anterior chamber is again filled up with visco. If we fill up the anterior chamber with visco, we get we get about 45 seconds to one minute. That keeps the anterior chamber formed. The viscoelastic substance come out gradually. It doesn't come out suddenly like aqueous, and it keeps the AC formed, and we can remove the cortex nicely. Now, I go through the side port and remove the rest of the cortex. And now, the anterior chamber and the capsular bag is filled up with 2 percent hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. Here it goes. And now, is the time to implant an intraocular lens. This is a hydrophilic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens placed in the capsular bag. The lens is nicely placed in the capsular bag. A Sinsky hook is used to dial the lens. And now, we have to remove the visco that we have used for implantation of the intraocular lens. First, I use a 23G Simco cannula, irrigate the anterior chamber and the angle of the anterior chamber and then I go behind the intraocular lens, irrigate the capsular bag and then I aspirate for some time. And now, this is the irrigation and aspiration. Irrigation in the right hand, aspiration in the left. And now, moxie, closure of the side port, and then a final lavage of the anterior chamber. The anterior chamber is nicely formed. Integrity of all the wounds are checked and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Please use the epinuclear shell as contact lens to protect posterior capsule.